what's up everyone welcome back to the channel so in this one i'm doing a little video on how you can use delays reverbs filters and effects to make smooth transitions and build ups and add a little bit of tension in your track and i feel like you don't need to add as many effects you can kind of use what you have already you just need to kind of know how to do it and use your automation and yeah you can add a lot of tension without adding too many effects and then when you do add your effects on top of all this it just enhances it so much uh, i always like to kind of use what i have i don't like the, like that part of production for me is like it's like a bit of an effort adding loads of effects so i kind of use what i have with automation and then add some effects and then i don't i can copy and paste stuff and yeah it just comes together a little bit better so sometimes i think i'm lacking in that sometimes i might need to, to use more effects but it served me well so far and yeah i'll just show you how you can use them so i always have a few different delays and reverbs set up uh, and then when i automate automate them it just they all have a kind of different feel to them so i'll just give you a little play just from the middle of the track and into the main build up and drop and then i'll break it down from there so i'll press play now Girl, I'm sorry. Slap a reverb there. Give the delay now. so i usually i use the ableton stock plugins as well but i also have my own little selection i use waves a lot uh, and then i have a lot of plugins like synthesizers and stuff that actually have built-in effects as well that i also use but i'll just show you how i've done this and i feel like it's a it's a nice transition so at the end of this little uh, section here, you can hear the delay on the woman's voice. Here, so that's this send and uh, this send and return I have here. It's just a little preset that I have set up uh, from Waves. So I have I have three of them, three three delays and one reverb. I should probably add another reverb, like a long and a short. So yeah. I just actually no, I'm, I didn't even realize I'm using the echo here from Ableton for this. So you can see the automation I have here. Look, that's the dry wet, and this is the feedback. So there's the feedback, and here's the dry wet. And I'm just bringing them up slowly just as it's coming into drop. So it's not like sometimes when you're doing an arrangement, when you change a section, it just feels like it cuts off too quick, it doesn't sound right. So it just blends better with this bit of delay and i think it sounds lovely when it just it just sound it's just with the bass alone and that vocal is kind of echoing beautiful i could also automate the reverb here i could bring this up like this put a bit of a curve on it maybe bit more attention so. can't really hear much but i've done it with other hats when they're more open the hats it sounds better this is just the crash that i have throughout the track reversed with the space echo sending a turn on it look you can see it here 
So I'm just kind of recycling my sounds. So here you go. Now I have the filter, the low pass filter coming through here, or the high pass, sorry, on the kick and the bass. So it's not a big drop off, it's already kind of. You'll see, I'll just show you the automation now, just so it's. You can see here, look, just a little touch. Because when it has all the low end in, it just drops off, like it loses a lot of energy, so it's kind of slowly going up. So when it drops off, it, it does, it's not like a big change. So I have the delay again, the echo on this vocal coming, the dry wet and the feedback going up as it's ending the section. And I also have reverb on this one with an alt with filter on the group. Yeah, have an auto filter on the group. And then I have the reverb going up, so it's kind of like, it's making a bit of, similar to like white noise, but it's kind of fading it out nicely, I'll solo it now. See the reverbs going up, the filters, low pass filters coming down. Just the reverbs pushes the people a little bit more, it's why you always see people using it on build ups and drops when they're playing. So I'll play the section one more time all together. So I have the, the high pass filter on the kick and the bass, the low pass filter on the drums with a reverb that's slowly going up. And then on the vocal, I have the echo from Ableton, just automating the feedback and the dry wet. What I usually do here, I'm bringing in this synth now. What I usually do, I didn't in this case, but usually I open it with a filter. I feel like when you open stuff with filters, it's a little bit more interesting sometimes than just bringing up the volume. So, yeah, you can see I'm opening a filter on this snare build up here, look. Yeah, look, I have the filter here. So the volume's going up on the synth. And then I also automated the filter on the synth itself, so you'll see it now. Look. And then look, you can see, I just opened the filter a little bit. Look. A bit more tension. Look. And then I just dropped it back into the way I had it set. So yeah, there's not a whole lot, like most of that is is the automation from the filters, delays and the reverbs. Then I added these two effects, very, very simple. They're just from two, uh, I think this one's, this one's from an Arturia plugin, but it was behaving in a weird way, whatever effects they had on it. So I recorded the audio because every time I play it, I play it a little bit differently. Like an analog synth, it behaves strangely similar, whatever way you have it set up. So I just recorded the the take that I liked and yeah I bounced it into audio and then I have go to for this little sound so I'll solo them now and give you a listen so the first one and then this one that's it and the rest is automation from from what I already have, so one more time and then we'll wrap it up.
a little crash on the base as well or on the base on the drop uh whenever i feel i feel like i always have to put something on the drop i'm always listening to tracks people just have to build up and they, they don't have a, like an impact and they make it sound so good it's just something that i can never get to sit right in my music i need to learn but you don't always need a crash or you don't always need an impact it just kind of depends on the track and what way you have to build up uh but yeah and then i just reverse the hair as well and just yeah, there's not many effects in the track really so yeah you can see how it's kind of fairly simple look there's not even that many channels it's just using what you have in an interesting way so yeah we'll leave it there folks if you want to get the bundle hit the link in the description the samples like this uh drum sounds like this bass hits everything you need and yeah again tell me what you want to see in the future and please subscribe if you haven't already like comment tell me what you want to see the more the channel grows the more time i can put into it and i can provide free education for all the people so yeah we'll leave it there folks have a good weekend ciao